there. So our eggs are here and they're at room temperature and ready to go. But I want to talk a little bit about our eggs before I do that and get put, getting them ready to put in the incubator. So if you'll notice, our eggs are a little different than most eggs that you might see at a grocery store. Um, at a grocery store, you typically see white eggs or you can buy brown eggs, but we don't typically see the bluish green kind of eggs that we have here. Um, what I can tell you about that is, is that my farmer that I got our eggs from has a variety of different hens and roosters on his farm, uh, hens in particular. So in his farm, he has fertile eggs because he has roosters and hens at his farm. Now the eggs we get at a grocery store typically are all white eggs and those come from a farm where the farmers don't have roosters. They're not interested in having roosters. Um, all they have are hens and the reason for that is a hen will naturally produce an egg about every 24 to 27 hours. Uh, once she reaches a certain age, her body will just naturally produce an egg. Um, so my farmers that, are, that actually are raising eggs for us to eat, um, those eggs at the grocery store come from farms where there are no roosters. In this case, my farmer friend actually wants to have baby chicks. So on their farm, they have actually roosters and hens both. And so um, their, their variety of uh, chickens and hens that they have on their farm will produce different colors of eggs. So in this case, my farmer has a variety of uh, non-white looking chickens because I can tell that by, based on the color of eggs that he handed me. So one of the things about um, our eggs is that you can tell um, just by the color of the eggs what color the hen's earlobes are. Now they may sound crazy, did you know chickens actually have earlobes? Just like um, we have earlobes, our chickens actually have earlobes too. They're usually either red or they're white. A uh, chicken or a hen that lays a greenish blue or brown egg will have red earlobes. A hen that has uh, lays white eggs will have white earlobes. And the earlobes are centered right about where ours are on their heads. And you'll notice in a picture, and we'll show you some later on, um, actually where those earlobes are located. So right now, based on the color of the eggs that I have in front of us, I know that my farmer has chickens with lots and lots of red earlobes. So when we're going to put our eggs into our incubator, the other thing that's really important that we need to pay attention to is if we look at our eggs, you can oftentimes tell that there's a big end and a more pointed end. In this case, my big end is right here and my more pointed end is down here. When we put our eggs into our incubator, we want to make sure that our big end is up. And the reason for that is if we ever look in the inside of our egg, we're going to notice that there's actually what's called an air cell. And the air cell is always located on the big end of the egg. So we want to make sure that when we put our eggs into the incubator that we're putting them in with, into our egg turner with the big end up. Now my farmer friend and even the eggs you get at the grocery store you'll notice they always put them with the air cell up. And so we want to make sure that we're going to transfer them over just like they are in the egg carton right now and that is we're going to take them and gently put them into our egg turner with the big end up. And we're going to leave them like that. So now what, what are the activities you may consider doing when you are home and mom and dad are making um, something with eggs is I would encourage you to actually crack an egg open and look at the inside of the egg to look for that air cell. And you're going to see there's a really thin white membrane that just covers the inside of the eggshell. And it goes all the way up to the top except for at that very big end there's going to be a little pocket and it's like a little bubble where the membrane doesn't go in. That is the air cell. And the air cell is really important when we talk about the growth and development of our baby chicks. So we're gonna make sure that in this case that our air cell is upright for all of our eggs as we're putting this in here. Now, in the past I've had kids ask me, or I've asked kids too, do you think we could eat these eggs? And of course, most generally, most people think, no, we can't eat these eggs. They're fertilized. The answer to that is not true. We could eat these eggs. Matter of fact, my farmer also sells eggs to the public for people to eat. If we were to crack one of these eggs open and compare it to an egg we got at the grocery store, we'd have a really hard time, excuse me, we'd have a really hard time telling the difference between one egg versus the other. What changes is once we put them in the incubator. Once they're in the incubator, now they become um, fertilized, since they are fertilized, they have the chance of growing into embryos to become baby chicks. So nothing happens with those chicks or the, with these eggs until we actually start the incubation embryology process. 
So once that's going, now we no longer want to eat the eggs. But if we decided prior to this that we would wanted to eat them, we could have eaten them.